uh, on one of my YouTube videos, actually, I mentioned a really good book, which was a revelation for me. Now, 20 years of formal education, yeah. I this was a game changer for me. It's called Rich Dad, Poor Dad. Yes, I know the book. You know the yeah. book? Yeah. And for some reason, we, I mean, this should be a compulsory textbook in my view. Uh, it, it, it pits uh, a person who has two dads. One of them is the poor dad, which is his, I think his natural dad. And the other one is his rich dad. Ironically, the poor dad uh, was, I believe, a doctor. Okay, whatever, white collar professional. Let's, let's call him a white collar professional, him. And uh, his mentality was always to sort of let's say submit to authority i'm using strong language but to always be an employee and 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 pay the bills and then save after whatever and then pay taxes and save after and then he had a rich dad right so the poor dad was very academically accomplished right and the rich dad was more business savvy right he was um, uh, not educated from a schooling angle but he saw things from an entrepreneurial perspective that, for example, uh, one of his key tenets, which I didn't learn in 20 years, was to invest in assets rather than liabilities. It's um, not real assets, but what he's saying is that assets are items that will generate you income in return. So, I don't know, you invest in property, okay, for example, and rent it out. That's an asset. A car is a liability. So, so invest more in assets than liabilities. Try to lower your tax base legally, of course. I am a qualified accountant in, uh, at least at university or my master's or wherever, I didn't even learn how to prepare a tax return. <laughs> really? So, exactly, yes, okay. yes. Um, it was only on the job that we were taught to prepare tax returns. And, okay. That's strange. <laughs> right? It leads me to think, why you know why there are these life skills and i i wouldn't even be doing the word justice by calling them life skills they are compulsory <laughs> knowledge <laughs> that you have to learn this is what you'll be doing as an accountant in a way exactly uh, part of it uh, uh, that's right of course. that's right and and apart from accountants these are skills that everyone should know everyone should understand taxes Everyone should understand the power of compounding and, and investing and to save for a better future and to have a rich life, you know? So um, it was a game changer and I really suggest people read it because um, there's a lot of knowledge out there and uh, it doesn't unfortunately only come from the confines of formal education. <laughs> yeah. yeah, sometimes we have to learn things on, on our own as well. Yeah. Um, However, academia gives you the, the opportunity or the space for you to, it's, it sort of places you at the doorstep of knowledge. It might not give you all the knowledge in the world or what all the knowledge that you require, but it gives you an opportunity to, to stay curious in a way, not directly perhaps, but uh, because you'd have the opportunity to find your learning style if you look inwards um, this, this is something that is not taught either our learning style yeah but it exposes you and sometimes exposure is what you need to get things started so there there might not, not be spoon feeding so again in the entrepreneur you will you have to figure things out on your you own. fail forward you know yes just... yes yes so um, and i think academia gives you that so it gives you a backup an academic a theoretical backup <laughs> that um, will help you lean forward. So for example, in psychology, we learn various models about the human mind and, and, how, and the human behavior, but in, people are so complex that they f we don't fit in a box, you know, no, we don't fit in a model or a particular framework, but you take this concept from this model, this aspect from this framework, and you combine them together. So those are the, the frameworks and the models are there as a guiding post rather than, than as an actual map, you know? So, um, and I think academia gives you that. Yeah. Some tools in your toolkit that can help you navigate, but it's it's a compass rather than a map. Yeah, yeah, in, it's in true. That sense. In fact, in fact if, if we compare, let's say, the accounting profession, there is 
um, to 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 simplify, there are two ways. I'm simplifying. There's the ACCA route, or there's the university slash MCAST. Let's yeah. also include MCAST. Uh, luckily, I chose the university path for me, because to me, as an advisory professional who who didn't necessarily want to specialize in accounting or auditing or wanted to keep my options open, university gave me that exposure that you rightly say of report writing, reading, compulsory yeah. reading, exams that fine somehow I was always I was always good at school and, and, and university but but I always struggled and I always suffered, you know? And I don't think it should be a Suffering. I don't think it should be a struggle, yeah. but that's a separate argument altogether. Thankfully, university gave me those skills, probably innocuously or without yeah. intention, <laughs> yeah. to just wing it and learn how to write reports on my own and research here and do this and do that, yeah. which really helped my, my advisory um, career. Yeah. Uh, whereas had I chosen the ACCA route, I would have been, um, I've gotten work experience while studying, which is great. But would I have known how to write a report? Mm, I'd, I'd have struggled to do that while working in an accounting job. And so I'd be a very good accountant, be a very good auditor. But then the other skills, which are more, let's say, transferable or more or softer even, mm -hmm. uh, I got from university. Yeah. So it wasn't all bad. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> or contraire. <laughs> For sure. So, so yeah, I think... Um, Financial knowledge is is something that we need to work on, and it's really a, a a beautiful subject when when studied properly and using different learning methods. I think yeah. is what you referred to because at the end of the day, when I'm walking my dog, you know, I listen to podcasts, yeah. you know, and that is another form of learning, yes. um, like this one, yeah. <laughs> so. and and. Unfortunately, I don't know about you, but we were taught at a day at an age where it was just books, yep. just books. Yep. So thankfully, our writing skills are pretty good. Yep. But then, you know, it cost us a bit more. It was more of an effort to, to yeah. get that in our brains. And, and luckily, we have podcasts, videos today that we can e-learning modules, so we can learn at our own pace as well. I mean, 